What's going on guys? I'm Bruce Weaver and I'm going to be continuing my video series today about how to start your own marketing agency and specifically an SEO agency because that's what I do. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys exactly how I go about prospecting all of the leads I generated yesterday with D7 Lead Finder and how I take that list of 500 to 1,000 leads down to maybe about 200 good leads in just a matter of hours using this method. And you can go through and prospect very, very well and very, very thoroughly in just about 30 seconds a piece if you do this with the method I'm gonna show you using a software I like to call AHRFs. And basically, I'm gonna show you guys my step-by-step -step process, how I do it. And we're gonna just use the exact lead list that we got yesterday using D7 Lead Finder so you guys know exactly that it's legit. I'm not cheating on you guys or anything like that. So I'm just gonna show you guys to be completely transparent and let's get right into this entire process. So now we're here and we have our email list. This is where we're gonna put all of our emails once we've already prospected them. So this is these are about four people that I've already prospected, four businesses I've already prospected them to reach out to. So <clears throat> this is where they're gonna get put. And then here's, here's I did it for plumbers too. Took me about maybe an hour max. And I did 22, pro, or it was probably an hour on and off, like checking Snapchat and stuff like that in the middle of it. But like I said, 22 leads. I guarantee I'll get one or two, uh, one or two, uh, what do you call it, responses from these leads with a 10% response rate. Cause that's what these emails that I send out using this prospecting method already like get me most of the time. So, you know, about 10% actually respond. But like I said, we've already done five of these in, uh, or four of these for, um, we're doing roofers. And basically, like I said, I'm just gonna show you guys my step-by-step -step process, how I fill out all of this information, you know, like the city, target keyword, potential traffic for that target keyword, the rank for that keyword, their first rank, second rank, and third. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys why this matters and why you guys should definitely do this. Because if you don't, you're just gonna miss out on a lot of potential clients because your emails that you send are just not gonna be well-written and they're gonna take too long to actually do. So you're not gonna be able to reach out to as many and not be able to scale as well as you will if you be able to, if you just learn this prospecting right off the bat. So let's get right into it. The website we're gonna be prospecting today is just another one from this lead list. And this one's actually Ace and Solar, Ace Solar and Roofing. So what we're gonna do, first thing I like to do is just highlight this entire thing up to the city. So go to the, go, you know, highlight this thing until it gets to city. Okay, can press Control C once you've highlighted this row and then go into the email list and then right click and paste. And what it's going to do is going to put this exact, it's going to put the business name, email, website, telephone, address, city, all this stuff. The only thing the address isn't really that important, but what it does is the address helps it with variables later, but that's not important right now. So like I said, what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the website. So I already pulled up the website, but I'm just going to X out of it and go back to it now just to show you guys. So what they are is a roofing solar company. So basically they'll do your roofing and they'll install solar panels, that type of stuff. So they're definitely people that might be, that might benefit from, you know, some sort of uh, some sort of SEO, you know what I mean? People looking for solar panels in whatever the place may be. So that being said, let's go into it. So basically after that, you just copy the link and you go into the software called Ahrefs. Now Ahrefs is where all the magic happens. So if you click search with Ahrefs in this site explorer uh, tab, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up the specific, a specific website. And like I said, this one is a solar and roofing, so it's gonna bring up this website. So it has the UR, the DR, which is basically the backlink ratio, the domain rank, all this stuff has all the backlinks, referring domains, organic keywords, all this stuff, stuff that doesn't really matter unless you're an SEO guy. But basically what, how it matters to you, you know, when you're prospecting, and you're gonna be an SEO guy if you're prospecting like this, you click on organic keywords, and you can see all the keywords that these guys are ranking for. So it means they're ranked in the top 100 results on Google for this exact keyword. And so, the number one that they're getting their most traffic from is, uh, you know, Ace Roofing. This is how they get most of their traffic, which eh, is not that great. You know what I mean? So basically, they are ranking for roofing companies in Charlotte NC. So what we're going to do is by finding this right here, what we can do is now we know that the keyword that we're going to be targeting is roofing companies in Charlotte NC. So basically, if you click on this, <clears throat> it's going to show you the monthly search volume. For this keyword, the monthly search volume is 300, but the potential traffic for just this keyword is 1,000. So what I'm gonna do is multiply this by three and then go back into my email list and then target keyword, we're gonna do another target keyword is. So the roof, roofing company, Charlotte NC. So roofing companies, Charlotte NC. 
So we're just gonna put an in in between that just to make it look more professional because when we actually these this is gonna be put in exact it's gonna be put just how it is right here into the email that I'm gonna show you in my net like into the email software I'm gonna show you in the next one. So because it had a thousand, so it said a thousand is the trap potential for just this keyword. We're gonna multiply that by three to you know account for all the long tail keywords that they're gonna rank for if they rank for roofing companies in Charlotte NC. So right now this is what this is the potential traffic. This is gonna be a variable two in the e in the cold email template that I share with you guys tomorrow. But right now, just fill that in 3000. And then the rank for the keyword. Now, this is important. This is actually one of the biggest parts that make it so personal when you send this email out to these people and gives it such a high response rate because people open it and they'll read it. But if it's not personalized to them, if it just looks like a spam email, they're not going to care. So rank for the keyword for a specific keyword shows that this is actually something that's personalized. So like I said, let's go back to it now, go back to Ahrefs. And then you can go back to the just click back a couple times and it's going to bring you back to basically the keywords they're ranking for. So now that we found roofing company, Charlotte NC, we scroll over their, their position is 25. So that's, this is the, this is the biggest thing. So right here, 25 is their position. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the email list. We're going to take here and then we're going to write number 25. Make sure to put the number symbol in there because it's, it's vital for the next part of this entire process when we're actually going out and doing the cold emails. And like I said, this is just the prospecting part. And this part's going to save you hours and hours of, you know, typing and copy and pasting in the cold emails if you can just do this part correctly. So just make sure you watch this video and make sure it's all in your head because without this part, you are not going to be able to do cold emails with great success. And if you actually want to, you know, get clients like this. And like I said, this is an extremely effective way to get clients, especially if you're just beginning, because it basically gives people value right off the bat and people like to respond to that and it just it works very well for my experience so like i said rank for keyword number 25 which is good they're already ranked for that keyword which means it's going to be easy to get back in there and help them rank for it or rank higher for it so now that we found roofing company charlotte nc is the target keyword what we're going to do to find the best or to find the top three ranking keyword or the top top three ranking websites for this keyword that basically the essential the equivalence of their competitors we're gonna do keyword rank one, keyword rank two, and keyword rank three. Otherwise known as competitor one, competitor two, and competitor three. The guys that they really wish that they were in front of because I'm sure all the people that are in a certain industry in a certain city will know their competitors, especially if they're in a, like a local business type like this, like like for instance, roofers. Like plumbers in my area in the Outer Banks definitely know the other plumbers and a lot of them don't like each other because they know that these guys, you know, the ones that are ranking above them are taking their calls. You know, they're, they're getting more business than them because they're ranked higher. So these guys already know it. So it's a pain point for them. So you want to press that pain point by copying, by basically figuring out what the top three ranks are or the top three competitors are for whatever the keyword may be. So now you got this, you got keyword rank one, keyword rank two, and keyword rank three. So now we're gonna go back in here. We take, we go to the keyword, the one that's, so it's highlighted right here. We go over and we click this, this little thing called here. It's called show SERP, show SERP. And basically what the SERP is are the top 10 results for this exact keyword. And this is huge. This is so important for this entire process that this is what makes Ahrefs the best software and the, the best SEO software ever, in my opinion. You can do so much stuff with it, but essentially what you do is this shows you all of the top 10 ranking results for this keyword. And the keyword is roofing company Charlotte NC. So now that we found this, we're gonna take the top three actual companies and we're not going to take the directories because that doesn't really that doesn't really make them you know they're they're fine with not being ranked as high as you know home advisor but if they're not ranked for you know number two or whatever like charlotte and or uh, baker roofing company is then you know they're going to be a little pissed off i'm sure they know who baker roofing company is and they're going to be mad that these guys are beating them in the rankings so because you did this you go in here copy that link and you click paste so baker roofing company is competitor one so they're, these guys are going to see that name and be like, oh, those guys, they're beating me. And they're not going to want that. They're going to want to, they're going to want to hear what you have to say about beating them. You know what I mean? So that's, and that's the entire, that's the entire strategy with the cold email. And I'm going to show you guys that in the next video, but here to rank two or otherwise known as competitor. Oops. I spelled that wrong <laughs> Two that, that, yeah, I can't spell that totally wrong. Let me just, I'm sort of like not into that. So there we go. Competitor two. And then I'll just, while I'm at it, I'll just do competitor three. There we go. So the first one and the second one, paste that in there, hsroofing.com. And then competitor three, go back here, 
and then you scroll down until you find the next one southern star roofing boom already there copy link address and then these guys are going to know all of these websites they know who these guys are and they know that these guys are beating them and they don't like it so that's why it's so important because when you actually send them an email address and it shows them you know here are the three people that are outranking you and i'm going to tell you guys i'm going to tell you exactly why they're outranking you if you respond to this email essentially is how the email goes and so you're going to have these three competitors you're going to show them the target keyword you're going to show up how much traffic they're missing right here and you're going to show them what they're currently ranked and at rank 25 they're probably getting th we can actually check to be honest we can literally go and check how many how much traffic they're getting for being ranked 25 in this position so this keyword right here is a potential to bring up 3000 um 3000 leads per month so or 3000 traffic 3000 visitors per month and right now they're getting less than one visitor a month they're getting one visitor every 4 months for this keyword and that's not very good so what we're going to do is in our email, we're going to show them, oh, you're ranked 25 and you're getting less than one visitor a month from this keyword. And since this is the main part you do business, the fact that you're not getting any visitors from this really does slow your entire business down because you're not getting any calls from organic traffic. So why do you even have a website? You know, it doesn't make any sense. And so they're going to see that when you send them the email and the email is extremely, extremely personalized, except for that it doesn't take long to do and which is so beautiful about it. My email template that I use. I got it from a, a friend of mine and basically what it does is it literally helps you guys it helps you guys go in and send an email that is personalized to them but is also able to be sent in mass and this is what the prospecting does because so if you prospect you're able to send an email to all these guys that's personalized to them it shows them you know target keyword potential traffic for that keyword rank for that keyword and the competitors that they have and also what it does is it shows them you know their business name stuff like that so it says hey I was doing a search for uh, card keyword roofing companies in Charlotte NC and came across this problem with your website or I can came across your website and then you put um, you know their website or whatever it is you know their website right here and then you show them you know what they're ranked for that specific keyword their potential traffic you know their competitors and why and then you say I can show you how you can start beating competitor one competitor two and competitor three who are currently ranked in the top three for Google you know what I mean who are, or who are currently your top three competitors for this keyword and then what you're gonna do is by sending that email to them, after prospecting this, you're gonna get responses, lots of responses at more than you ever thought possible. You're gonna get your name in front of so many people so quickly that you're gonna get more responses in a week than you're gonna have gotten through all of your cold. You're gonna get more appointments in a week if you do this correctly. If you can send 30 of these emails in a day, you're gonna generate more actual face-to-face -face meetings or video call meetings in just you know a week or two than you've gotten from doing all the cold calls you've ever done combined. You know what I mean? Like, it, I don't know how much cold call you've done. If, I mean, if your entire business is cold calls, maybe you could have done more. But if you're just a normal person, then you probably haven't got as many appointments from doing cold calls as you have from this email. Like, these emails, out of every 100 emails I send, I'll probably get four to seven appointments from those 100 emails. And in cold calls, when I was cold calling, I'm a pretty damn good cold caller. I could only get maybe about, out of those 100 people that I phone call, after all the you know the bad fits and stuff, I could only get you know anywhere from two to three appointments from those cold calls. Because when you when you cold call someone, the philosophy behind it, what it portrays yourself as, is someone who doesn't have you, you're not a trusted authority figure. You know, like if you think about the amount of retainers you're trying to charge, which is you know two thousand dollars a month and stuff like that, people don't want people don't want people don't see someone who um, reaches out to you through a random phone call while they're eating dinner as someone who commands authority. And I'm not saying that cold call doesn't work. I'm saying cold call can work great if you can figure out how to do it correctly. I know how to do it pretty well, but I just, it takes too much time. So I don't do it like this. This is why I do it like this. This is why I do the prospecting because in the 30 seconds it takes me to do one of these, it will take me, you know, maybe three to four minutes of cold calling to find someone who says, oh yeah, actually no, my boss isn't in today. Call back tomorrow. You know what I mean? And with this lower risk percentage rate of like, you know, actual uh, appointments that I get from cold calling. And on top of that, that this takes so much less time and also with the follow-up is so much more effective, it just doesn't make any sense to cold call in the first place. So like I said, I just showed you guys how to prospect all these all these things and do it really quickly using Ahrefs. And then once you've done that, you go back into your lead list, you click on the one that you just did. So this is the lead that we just did, Ace and Solar Roofing. Click on the business name column and then you highlight a green because you already did this lead. This is someone you're gonna reach out to. So these are all people I'm gonna reach out to doing this, okay? And so now that I've done that, you can go back in, you can be, you can rest assured that these guys are going to be happy when you send them this, this email. And right now I'm just going to send you, I'm just going to show you guys sort of a preview of what these emails look like. So 
right here is an email I sent to myself using the alias of United Plumbing because United Plumbing is basically the first one in this list that I'm actually going to contact. So United Plumbing, you know, has the email, has the website, has all these variables. And basically, when you go to the email list, I go to plumbers, the first one in here is United Plumbing. So it has all these variables. And so all of these right here, keyword rank one, keyword rank two, keyword rank three, and I said notes web design, but basically, forget the web design now, pretend that they're just SEO clients. Um, basically, when I go here, it says, hey, quick question about United Plumbing. So the quick question about company name, and that's how, that's how it would work in the software. Hey, I came across your website today when searching for keyword or target keyword, and that's what the, that's what the you know variable is that's in there. So, and notice that you don't show up in the map section or, and are not indexed in the organic listing. What this could be instead, so this is, so basically if you go in here in the email is it says rank for keyword not indexed. So this is the exact thing that gets put, like pasted right into this little spot right here. And this, this spot normally reads this in the actual email template creator. It reads, um, I think it's, it's, um, keyword rank KWR. And when in this right here turns into whatever this variable is in the email list. So if it's number 11, this will turn into, you know, this right here, this not indexed, will turn into, let's see if I can find it real quick. Not indexed, this right here, that's right now currently not indexed, will turn into number 11, if that's what they're ranked. So, and you are number 11 in the organic listings, which is page two, by the way. And they know that, I mean, they, they normally figure, the normal, a lot of people are on top of this stuff, and if they're not, it's even better. And then right here, you'd insert a screenshot or high quality infographic of the website. And basically what you do is use like, you can find a high quality SEO infographic anywhere on the web. You know, I, I might hand you, I might give you one that I'd use in my templates in the next video, which I'm going to do probably tomorrow or on Sunday, something like that. And then underneath that it says, so I took it upon myself to make a video showing you why the top three organic listings are outranking you. And they're like, oh, okay. So my top three competitors, why they're outranking me. And they're like, they're, they're thinking, wow, this guy actually knows his shit. You know what I mean? He, and then he goes in and says top three organic listings. And then it has, you know, number one, number two, and number three. And this is actually the keyword, uh, I think it's plumbers, Charlotte, NC. And it's actually uh, it's right here, plumber in Charlotte, NC. And then I say, are you the right person to send this video to? And by saying that, you're basically qualify. you're having them qualify themselves to you. You're not going to make them, a, you're not going to actually record a video audit for these people until after they've responded. So that way you don't have to record a hundred video audits for a potential of nobody actually wanting the video audit. You know what I mean? And if you send the video audit to like, for example, the admin who's already doing their SEO, then that that's a good way just to waste a lot of your time. Because in the time that it takes to, to you know record a video, I mean like five to 15 minutes, something like that to record the video audit. And that admin goes and sees it and he's like, oh, well, I'm already doing SEO for this guy. I'm, I'm just not going to show this guy. This guy's obviously a better SEO than me. He's going to steal this client away from me. So I'm just not going to show my boss. You know what I mean? Lots of people do that. If you, if you mess with the wrong person, this can happen all the time. So that's why you say, are you the right person to send this video to before you've actually recorded the video? And then if you are, please reply to this email. I'll send it to you. Otherwise, just let me know. Have a great day, Bruce. You know, super simple, nothing too crazy. Just super simple like this. And, and you know, the template changes all the time, but this is basically a general, the gist of it. And so, like I said, that's what all these variables stand for. That's why all these variables are so important because what this means is that by having these things, like this variable would be, it's probably, I don't remember what it is, probably, you know, bracket, bracket, business name, bracket, bracket. And this one's, you know, email, website, bracket, bracket, telephone, bracket, bracket, city, bracket, bracket. Target keyword is actually T, um, or yeah, I think it's T K. The thing was just TK, it's just two letters. TK is target keyword. And then next to that, TK bracket bracket. Then potential traffic is PT bracket bracket and um, rank for keyword, you know, that's RKW, which is rank for keyword is what it stands for. That's bracket bracket. And then competitor one, competitor two, competitor three. That's keyword one, keyword two, and keyword three. So that'd be KW1, KW2, and KW3. Or it's actually, it's KWR1, KWR2, and KWR3 are the variables I use. And then what it does is it pastes these exact values that are in this spreadsheet into these specific areas, like right here. So right here for this one, for example, this, so if, if we were doing it for this one, rank for keyword would be right here and it would get you right, you are currently ranked number 25 in the organic listings. And then the top three organic listings are these, you know, Baker Roofing, uh, HS Roofing and Southern, Sa Southern Star Roofing. And it's gonna paste those URLs in this exact spot. And then by doing all of this, it's so personalized that they feel like they have no choice but to respond. Like who wouldn't want to know why their website isn't making more money? You know what I mean? It's it's just, it's it's a no brainer. And when it comes down to it, 
so many people see the value in this that you're going to get huge response rates rates the people who actually open the email address are going to respond to the email so much more often than any other sort of unpersonalized cold email could ever do unless you're offering like i will redesign your entire website for free you know what i mean i i, I that's that even sounds too spam. i wouldn't respond to that you know what i mean so it's just such an effective way to do it and i'm going to show you guys exactly how i do my follow-up because this is just one step in the process you know this first email right here after prospecting is just one step after that, I have an entire other list of thing, list of you know emails that get sent out in unison with this email if they don't respond to this email at first, that basically act as if I'm a real person reaching out to them. I don't reach out to them as safe at SEO. I reach out to them as Bruce Weaver, as a real person just reaching out to them. My profile picture is different. I do all this stuff using G Suite. You know, it's it's extremely it's extremely simple once you get it, but I can't really explain it in this. And it's super easy to do, and it's just overall so, so, so effective. I can't emphasize that enough and just showing you guys the prospecting myself. I'm just being completely transparent. This is how I do it for my own business. This is how I get almost all of my clients as like, it's, it's literally incredible. I'm just, I'm just laying it out there. I don't want you guys to think that I'm holding anything back. This is exactly how I do it. And this is just, I really hope you guys see the value in this because honestly, you know, it takes me a little bit of time to do these videos and stuff like that. And I'm just starting out and I know, you know, the potential is great if I can continue to do it. And I, in the first video, I got quite a good response already. It's been a day and I've gotten quite a few views and stuff like that. And I'm pretty happy with it. But um, that being said, like I said, if if you guys think that I'm providing value to you guys, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could like the video and just basically show me that you think I'm providing value because it takes my time and I'm showing you guys my secrets and stuff like that. So I'd really appreciate if you guys can like show me that you guys understand the value in it and stuff like that and are going to do it for yourselves by just, you know, leaving a like, because if you leave a like, it really does. It just shows me, it motivates me to keep on going. You know what I mean? I'm just starting out, so I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, no matter how many dislikes I get, but I, you know, it, it just helps me out a lot. It helps me out a lot. And if, and I want to share this with as many people as possible, as quickly as possible. And if you guys appreciate the value I'm providing, all I ask for is a like, and you know, if you really enjoy it and you want to see the next video as soon as it comes out, which is probably going to be tomorrow. It, you know, I'm probably gonna upload the next video about actually cold emails tomorrow and how I do my follow-ups and all that stuff. So if you guys really want to see that, make sure you subscribe because by subscribing, you guys are gonna be the first ones to get notified. You guys are gonna see as soon as I upload. Click on it. You guys are gonna be able to send out. You're gonna be able to start sending out. If you watch these three videos, this first three part of the series, you're gonna be able to start getting clients in the next week just from sending these emails out. You know what I mean? Using D7 Lead Finder, prospecting the lead, and then sending the emails out. It, it is it is utterly, utterly great. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I wasn't on face cam, but it, it, it's just, it's so effective. And I want you guys to see that. And if you guys actually think you're going to do it, that's great. I applaud you for taking action. But if you don't, it's totally fine too. You know, you can just learn. It's totally cool just to, you know, think about it and make sure you have it in your head before you just take some action. I would, I would suggest just taking action and then learning along the way. That's how I did. It, and I think that's how the most success is had. But you know, if you are, on, if you are one of those people who doesn't want to do it immediately, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Just go through some of the videos, make sure you understand the concepts and then go in and actually start taking action. Because once you take action, I promise you will see results. And with what I've shown you, it's so easy to do. The, the actual amount of effort it takes to see results is just, it's, it's, it's minuscule. So like I said, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you guys didn't, you know, just like, uh, just leave me a comment why, you know, tell me what, what the problem was. Cause like I said, I'm a brand new YouTuber, just trying to learn. And I want you guys to just be completely honest with me. You know what I mean? Something I could do better, you know, maybe talk a little bit slower. Cause I know I talk quick and, um, if you, it would help me a lot if you guys could leave a comment about that. And specifically, I want you guys to leave a comment and let me know if you found this valuable. Say, just comment in the comment section yeah or something like that if you found this valuable because i i would just really appreciate to be able to actually hear from you guys and hear you know that you guys are actually enjoying this content because it's just um like i'm i'm pouring i you know i'm pouring myself into it this I, I think this is just so valuable and you guys can get so much from it so if you guys just actually go in and understand the value of it you guys will be able to go in and implement this in your own business and just see incredible results incredibly quickly and i really want you guys to have as much success as possible as quickly as possible and that's that's the whole truth i really I, I it would just be so cool to see that you know what i mean so if you guys like the video for the last time i promise just please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you found it valuable if you did i promise i'm gonna respond to all the comments i really really think that 
what's one of the best things you can do as a YouTuber? Just respond to the comments, make sure everybody feels welcome and stuff like that. And yeah, I mean, that's basically it, guys. Thank you so much and have a great night.